Well, hi folks, back with another product to open here. This is from the uh, good people at Pranova. And this is going to be a, uh, a trail camera. I haven't seen it other than just pictures of it. So I'll open it up here. Let's see what we got. manual nothing nothing online this is here that's great and a little quick start manual and simple operating instructions boy they gave a lot of information this time around uh, this is from it's ragu that uh, test the uh, multimeter I did recently was from ragu and it didn't have any information in it this thing's got this is just full of it and here's the camera ah, nice camo color Multiple sensors. Very nice. An HDMI cable with a mini HDMI. An HDMI cable with RCA jacks. Let's see what else is in here. A stand. This may be mounted on it and set like a tripod goodie on it where this has a tripod on the bottom. If you want to mount this someplace, you can do that and you get a strap. Alright. So far, that's what we got. So I'm going to have to go through with it, play with it, see what it does. I'll get back to you with uh, more information. Listen up, everybody. If you've ever wanted to get involved in product reviews, Basically, you get a product sent to you, it's free of charge, you do the review, you post the review, and you get to keep the product. If you've ever had a, chance, a desire to do that, be sure to hang around until after this video is done, because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I got involved with this particular company, and in the last couple of days, I've had a chat with the uh, representative that provides these for me, and they are looking for some more reviewers, so hang around. And we'll have a little chat about that at the end of the, the end of the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get started with what we what I found uh, about this uh, after playing with it for a few days. I will say this first and foremost: it's a fun unit. I really enjoyed playing with it. I've never had one, and I've always kind of thought it'd be cool to have one, but uh, I've had a good time with it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here for you technical people, the people who really like the technical stuff. I'll leave it there for a few seconds. You can freeze the fr freeze this frame if you want. Are we getting anything here? And you can freeze the frame if you want and then uh, go from there with it and then, then re restart and follow with the rest of the uh, review here with me. Anyhow, that's what's, what's in it. And of course I've showed you the stuff that it comes with in the package. We've got the uh, strap here. This uh, uh, cable with the uh, the mini connector for here and the uh, connector for your computer. You get your RSA jacks here and your mini connector. This one here allows you to hook it directly into your television set and actually run this thing off of it. Over here we've got this stand, and this is what the stand like this put together. It's like a little pri tripod, but it doesn't have a very big base on it. So you would have to put this, if you want to put it on a base, you have to make a little base to bolt this to. But this would be really great to, uh, to kind of screw up into your eaves of your house and then you mount this thing up there someplace where you can keep an eye on packages being delivered. Uh, you, know, you order something from Amazon and it comes to your house um, and you're not there. You could have this set up so you could actually, uh, could actually watch and make sure that nobody does take your, product, your property. And if they do, you're ready to go. Uh, many other reasons around places around the house you can use it also. Uh, I mean, it's unbelievable that the number of places that I've 
played with this thing in just the last few days and uh, never thought I would put something in there. Now, I have full cameras around my house and stuff, security cameras around my house, but I still found a lot of places, little dark corners, and uh, I've used this on it. Matter of fact, when the, at the very beginning of the video, there was a little clip with a, a black cat in it. We've had a noise in our backyard for some time, and we have some sensor lights that are right here on the chicken coop, and the lights would go on. And we'd go out there and look and never see anything, never find anything. Put this, put this thing out on the patio here, and uh, the very first night, within just a few hours, the cat came in, this thing caught it, and I got a, ch had a chance to see it. Of course, being a black cat, you're not going to be able to see it very well uh, in the evening anyways, but this thing saw it. Okay? A couple things it does not come with. Come, does not come with the batteries. You have to supply your own AA batteries. It takes eight of them, but it will operate on four. And uh, the eight, the reason they have the, they have it set up for eight is to give you longevity. This thing they say will go six months on eight batteries in the standby mode. Uh, and uh, you know I've read reviews about this this particular unit and ones like it, and the people are saying they're receiving that. The other thing it does not come with is this card. You get, need to get yourself a little card for it. Other than that, the rest of the stuff comes in it. Here's the unit itself, and it's got the two side sensors down here in the bottom. It's got the center sensor here. You can turn these two side sensors off and just use the center sensor if you uh, want to put yourself in a position where you're just going to limit what you can see. Now, you can't do it the other way around. You have to have the center sensor on it. Of course, that's the lens for your camera. Right over here, there's a small hole. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little small hole right here. And that small hole is uh, your microphone. Up here we've got 42 LEDs. They are red, not black. So when this thing is in operation, those things do leave off a, a very mild, slight uh, glow of red. So they could actually be seen by the animals that are looking at it. Um, but it is real, real, real minor. You don't really see it that much. Right here in the very center is your daylight sensor. And... Uh, this thing will go to black and white in the evening, and it'll give you color film uh, pictures or video in the daytime. Right here is the, the uh, sensor light for this sensor, and it lights up red. This one will light up blue, and it's for these two sensors here. When you're set into test mode, those things will flash to let you know that they are functioning, and, and, and you can get an idea of where your range is by just looking at the camera. Once it's in the, run, the operation mode, video mode, picture taking mode, those do not light up anymore and you don't want those to light up. It has a bracket on the back here that this strap would go through or whatever else you want to put on it to hold it up with. Um, on the bottom for your tripod. There is none on the back here for the tripod though, but there is one on the bottom here. Underneath here, right down here, is a little rubber plug. And this little rubber plug is where you can hook your external power supply. You'll have to pick up a power supply, power supply because it does not come with the unit. And uh, I'm sure you may even have something like a kick around. I found I had a couple of them kicking around the house here from old units where I, things that had burned out. I kept the power supplies and uh, it works. I tried it. It works real good. You can take the batteries out and it'll operate with it in there like that. It's got some real nice straps on the side here to clamp to hold it down. They're not the cheesy stuff. They... They actually get in there, pull down nice. They're over-centering straps so that they lock down, lock down good and tight. Got a place right here to put a uh, padlock to lock this closed for you. Keep people from getting in once you get in there and mess with your settings or what have you. On the inside here, we've got a cover here, which houses your batteries. You, these are the four batteries you can use running on, and if you add these on here, then you have additional time. But you do need to have at least four in it snaps right in place. Over here we've got a slot for your SD card right here. Push it in, locks in place. You can take that SD card out and pop it into your computer and your computer will spit out the pictures real nice. And I will show you a little, late, a little later here in the video, I'll show you uh, where I just took them and loaded these right on, and imported them right onto my computer and then I can play them right off of there. This is where your mini, port, uh, mini plug goes. And right here is a three-way switch. This three-way switch is, if I get this we can be seen, to the left it's going to be off, in the middle it'll be, this is the test mode. Go to the right, you're in the operation mode. You do want to be sure to put this, in, this card in here while it's in the off position. Don't know if it'll damage it or not, but it does say to do that. 
Also, when you're running through the, the various screens here, let me bring it so we can see the screens. You can hit the menu, and it's going to bring up various selections you can do. You can do up or down, move you through the various uh, uh, modes that you can work with on this camera. You get uh, resolution on it, uh, and what you would do is click, let's go up to resolution there since I mentioned that. Click OK, now it brings you into the resolution that you want to. You slip up or down, pick the one you want, hit OK. Keep in mind, keep in mind that the higher the resolution is going to be, the less pictures you're going to be able to take. So you want to keep that in mind. Moving on through the thing, we've got a lot of different uh, choices here. Uh, video length, how long you want your video to be. Uh, you have a video resolution also, and that uh, is, a, I think it's a, let's click on it. We've got, uh, we got a 1080p, we've got 720 we got 480 and uh, so on. Audio recording. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. Doesn't really matter. The audio is not real loud in this thing, um, but that's okay. You're, you're really just looking for the, the picture of what you want to see. You can put audio on it. Uh, shot lag. The shot lag here is how much time you want to do between a... a uh, a, um, a video where you're going to run, take snapping shots all night long, okay? Um, you can set it up, it'll start taking pictures, and this lag will tell you how long you want to lag between shots, okay? Um, this is for your uh, motion sensors. You can turn the sensors on or off. In this case, they're on. You hit menu to back out of there again. Move on down to the next one. We've got sensitivity to the motion sensors, and you can adjust the sensitivity of the motion sensor, and this is for the front sensor. Um, I've got it set on medium and or middle, and it works just fine. But you can make that choice yourself. Target recording time. This is where you're going to start your uh, time lapse thing uh, uh, recording. Um, it's going to start at a certain time. It's going to stop at a certain time, and you're going to be able to program it to do that. This, along with the lag, the short, the shot lag, will give you how long you want to run this this time recording. It language it has a number of languages in here. Let's, let's see, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven languages in this thing. A lot more languages than any of us could probably ever speak. Time and date, you go in here and set your time and date. It can be a 24 hour clock, it can be a 12 hour clock. And you can set it to wherever you're at, the type of thing, where it's day, month, year, or month, as we do here in America, month, day, year. Uh, you can do a lot of different different ways. Um, photo stamp, if you want to have the, the date and time put on your photos, that you can t set it to go on or off. You can have yes or no for that. Password protection, you can make your own password up, put it in here, and it'll keep others from getting into it. Um, a beeping sound, of course, self-explanatory. Format in the card. This is where you'd sit this card in and hit the format on it to when you first put it in. It wants you to do that first and foremost. The format will then set the card up to be used with the, to match with the machine. Uh, here's a good one for you, serial ID. And you look at this thing, a serial number. I, I couldn't quite figure out what it was. It turns out what it is is, let's say you work Yellowstone Park and you get six of these cameras. You would put maybe... You, YP1, YP2, YP3, designating whichever camera you're using. Um, not that sure that you really need it, but it, I guess it'd be good to have if you had multiple cameras. You could uh, put numbers in or something in there. This year, you can reset the settings. I would hit this button. It goes back to the way the factory set this thing to you. And then there's a version of the, uh, um, of the software that's in it. Now, if this thing is updatable, I'm not sure. I've never seen anything that would tell us whether they're updatable. There's nothing in these books that I have read on it. Back on out of here. And, of course, it sings to you when it goes off. Here's the pictures I promised you. This is a daytime picture. First picture in the sequence of, uh, of three. I've got it set to do three. And this was the next one. And this is the next one. And this is the time frame I had chosen for it to do. You can change that uh, time frame between photographs and take that into uh, delay the photo a bit more. Um, but I just went with the basic settings that were already on it. Now you come up with, with a video. And you... 
I've got this set at 10 seconds. You can set this thing to pretty much whatever you want it to be. I think it's up to 60 minutes you're allowed to do it. That was a 10 second video. Down right here. And these are all that I did in a, in a couple of nights. I just kind of put, set it up there and what have you. Um, This is at night time. And there's the video. My wife was just coming in from checking the checking the uh, chickens out there to make sure they were all okay. Pictures are nice. And this is on 720. Seven, uh, uh, it's not on 1080. Uh, it's it could the picture could actually be better if I wanted it to be. I don't see no reason to. Anyhow, that's the uh, way those pictures look. The quality, I mean, they're real nice. And the books I come with, they're pretty pretty extensive. This is in five languages. I don't know why this would be in eleven and this would only be five, but it's got English in here. It's pretty extensive. It tells you virtually everything about this thing. What everything means. Every move that you make in here. Tells you all that in here. This is just a simple instruction manual for quick start for those of us who don't like got to read the instructions and you know us guys we don't like reading instructions, but it gives you a quick start guide here. And this manual here is in English only, and it takes you through page by page, move by move, setting every little thing up on this camera. Um, there is nothing in this book that or nothing on this camera that is not in this book. It's amazing. It's usually you don't get this, this much information these days in in, in uh, instruction manuals, but there you've got you're really covered on this one. It shows you right here where you're hooking your TV up to to the uh, the unit. I mean, it even shows you how to hook up the stand, which is you know pretty easy to do, pretty self-explanatory. But it's there, and there's some tr simple troubleshooting stuff in the in the cameras, in the books here for the camera. First thing it does tell you to do is you get this stuff covering everything. It tells you to remove all that stuff and you do need to remove it. Um, okay, my final thoughts. After all, this is just a camera with some sensors that automatically takes pictures. Very simple to operate. So putting a video together, reviewing this thing is not going to be something that's real lengthy. It's not going to be something that's going to get real in-depth because it's just... A very simple and easy out camera to, camera to operate works great. I love I love the pictures, the quality of the pictures that it gives you. Um, it's a fun camera too. I can see where a family having these things when they go camping, set these up. Kids could uh, get a chance to see what uh, wildlife is around them. Use it in your yard for that. So sort of the same thing. Um, you can put it up in your eaves of the house and protect some of the house. You can put it in the house. You can do whatever you want with it. It's just it's just a camera you place you want to put it is where you want to put it. It, uh, but it works well. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm surprised to be honest with you. I did. I really didn't think that these things were going to be this easy to operate and uh, produce a picture this well. Um, it does, and I can choose all sorts of time time frames of pictures I want. Um, I did not attempt to try the uh, um, setting it up and start taking little pictures. Uh, pictures overnight, little here, little there, and, and look at it back in the morning. I will probably eventually play with that um, and uh, see what I can do with a, with a time delay system on, set up on it. Um, but I didn't get that, get, didn't get around to doing that. Uh, I just had a lot of other chores going on around the house here that I just couldn't spend the time doing all that. Um, but it is going to be fun to play with. So with that, I want to thank the people who provided this thing to me. Uh, Regu is the uh, camera. Uh, it's a Regu tail, trail camera. Um, I do have another camera that will be coming uh, in the mail today from the from the same people from Cronova, and I will be testing that one and uh, writing a report on that one. So, for those of you who are interested in getting involved in something like this, hang on. Uh, I will uh, clean things up, uh, set the camera up, and we'll sit down, we'll chat a little bit about it, and tell you how to do it. Thanks again for coming by. Well, if you're here, still here at the end of this video, you're probably here because you're interested in getting involved in uh, reviewing products and getting some free products for as a result of that. Um, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what my experience was or how I got involved with it. Because like everybody else, I was the same thing. I'd see somebody with a, uh, uh, some kind of a cool product and i think, gee, I'd love to have that. Um, but, you know, the guy got it for free and I was like, how am I going to get that? Well, what happened with me was all by accident. I actually purchased a product from a company called Cronova. Uh, I purchased this projector. Uh, our family camps uh, with trailers as well as camping, uh, uh, rustic camping and what have you, with hammocks and whatever. And at, when we go to our trailer uh, events, we do it with uh, a number of people. Uh, we use vintage trailers and a number of people come to the thing. We have what we know as a movie night. And for some reason that has fallen upon us to be the, uh, the thing that we present when we go to these events. Um, and I've been showing it on a television set that we would swing out the window or the door of our trailer. And you know, it was a little small. And the, the groups are getting larger and we needed something better. So I bought one of these. And I liked it. I'm the type of person that I always give reviews anyways when I get a product. The reason being, people out here are got to buy this product and they want a true answer of is this any good or if it's not, they want to spend their money on it. And this was a great little item. It really was. It was rated real high. Um, it was a great little item. And I purchased the product. And one of the things I did po uh, post about it was that the sound for outside use was not quite uh, what I had expected. Uh, shortly thereafter, I received a, an email from uh, Cronova. And they were offering me a speaker. Little did I know that uh, this, the, the offer was in exchange for a review. So I, I figured, what, what's the lose? I answered the, uh, the email. And when they contacted me, they really didn't offer me a speaker. What they did is they offered me this, which is same as that is, but a much more expensive unit, in exchange for my review. And the item was mine to keep. A dream had just come true. Uh, probably the same thing that a lot of you guys have. Um, anyhow, I did the review and everything went for it. And uh, when I get done with that one, there was offers for more reviews. Um, and the way it works with these people is they want you to buy the product from Amazon because they sell on Amazon and want you to buy that product. When you buy the product, you become a verified purchaser when you do a review. And that verified purchaser has much more weight than the uh, the average Joe just goes in, so yeah, I got one of those and leave a review on it. And I've done that too at some, some sites. Um, so what you do is you purchase the product. When you purchase the product, you then do your review. When your review is posted, you contact your contact from uh, Cronova, give them a link to the, to the uh, review, and give them the order number of the product you just purchased. They then will reimburse you the money. Now in my case, it is reimbursed either through PayPal or an Amazon gift card. I have to go through PayPal and then I have my PayPal pay it back to my bank. So that it's just like a vicious circle. It goes round and round. I pay it out, they pay it back to me, I go back in the bank. I take it back out, pay it on. See what I'm saying here? Um, what we've done is this, this camera you just saw me do. Um, they told me they were looking for some more reviewers and made a deal with me to if I could get some people to purchase some of these cameras that they were interested in them, that if they would do a review, they would give them a discount on the cost of the camera. So essentially what it is is the camera runs right around $90 for, the, for one of these cameras. And when you do, you will con you're going to need to contact these people, make a range for them, do, your, do the thing you need to be done, do your review, and then they, they're going to turn around and give you 50% back on the cost of the camera. Now, how how the contact and how this all works with them is you're going, before you purchase a camera, I'm going to leave links below for four different cameras. So you're not wide, uh, tied into this one camera you got here. Matter of fact, I, got, I just received one of the other cameras they're offering for me to review. And I did want to re review already on a previous camera that, that on one of my previous cameras is also in this, this four. So you can go down below and you can look at four cameras. Look at them all. Pick the one that you're interested in. Then there'll be a link with an email address. You're going to contact Cronova. The girl at Cronova will then get back with you. You're going to tell her what camera you want, and she's going to tell you the arrangements of, of getting started with this. She's probably, and I'm just saying probably, because I'm speculating exactly how it's going to handle with everybody, but she's probably going to have you purchase the camera, do the review, post the review. When the review is posted, you're then going to go to Amazon and click on your review and it's going to bring your review up on a solo page. You're going to take that address and copy it 
send that address back to her in an email or whatever means she has chosen for you to contact her with. You're going to send her that address, that address back for the, for the review, and you're going to send her the order number that you purchased your product under. That she's going to, whatever arrangement she makes with you, she will then rebate you the money. You'll get your money, get, you'll get the 50% back. Now, I had to pay full price my first time around to get my foot in the door. We've worked out something where you guys can pay 50% of the thing. And this camera, this camera that I just showed you, it is worth $45 is what basically what it is. It's worth that. I mean, so if you, if you buy the camera and you, you do the review, you get your money back. If you don't want to do any more, you, can, you, you save some money on the camera, quite a bit of money on the camera. But uh, wouldn't it wouldn't be nice if they called you on the phone or not on your phone, but contacted you through the Internet and told you that uh, they had a product for you and they wanted you to review it and it was going to be free. And this is how you do it each time. You purchase the product, submit the thing, the claim to them, they pay you back when the review is posted. Um, I don't really want to say that I'm, that it's, I want you to understand that it's not me who's doing this, it is Cronova and I'm just basically getting this information out to you to get it back to them so you can contact them. Um, there is one other thing I wanted, wanted to set up for you so you can, you can basically see what they have to offer and that is that there's a website they have on Facebook and when you go to this website, this Facebook site, you join the site, then you get in and you have access to what's going on in there. They, each month they come out with various products that they've got available. And it's not the beginning of the month, it can just be any time during the month. They come out and say, okay guys, this is what we got going, and they show you basically, or give you an idea of what is available. And you can respond to it by saying, yeah, I'm interested in that. And then they will contact you, whether it will be through a response on that site, on that particular that post, or they might just contact you with, a, an, IM, with an instant message, with an IM for you, um, which is how they usually do me. Um, but they'll contact you and then you start making arrangements for it. They also will come up with suggestions that aren't even on this list. But uh, the nice thing about it is, is you go to this, 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 this uh, uh, Facebook site, and I will leave an address for that down below, and you can go to that site and join the thing. And you've also, now that you get your foot in the door, you also start seeing the things you're interested in. Um, once they see a post of your, or a, a review of yours that they like, they're pretty good about getting back at you and want you to do more and more and more effect they want me to do more than I can really handle. Isn't that great? So, I will post all that information below. The four addresses for the cameras. You look at the various cameras, pick out the one you want. Then there will be an email address to contact the girl at Cronova. Then you will then work with her on this. Okay, again, I'm not involved with this other than just telling you people what's available. Uh, when she said she wanted to get some more reviewers, I thought this would be a great thing for, for you folks out there. Um, do that, and then there'll also be that third, that 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 uh, website address for their Facebook page. Go take a look there and look around. Join it so you can have access to the page, and go around and look around through the thing and look around, see what's on there, and get an idea of some of the things you might be interested in doing. They have uh, toys. They have uh, this type of things. They have camping stuff. Uh, I did a video on a uh, uh, multimeter, and uh, it was a very nice multimeter. And I have yet to get anything from them that's crap. Their stuff is all good. It's all high quality stuff. They sell it on Amazon, and uh, it's sold for pretty pretty premium prices on Amazon. But uh, they they're good stuff. It's good stuff. These two projectors are just marvelous. I just love them both. Uh, one's just going to go in a camper and stay stay in that. And the other one will be used here at home for backyard uh, shows and and when the grandkids come by. Um, but uh, I've used the multimeter, and it's great. I use it quite often now. In fact, it's, I'm an electrician, and I use that on the job. Um, the cameras. I just got it and just tried it. I'll probably use it for fun things, but it's not really something I would use a lot of, but I'll play with it. Um, so anyhow, go to their site, see what they've got, and uh, see if that, makes you, is it, if that might entice you. But again, if you want one of these cameras, you need to follow through with the order I said. She will then uh, set you up with it. You buy the camera, do your review, and the review, the review on it can be a review on Amazon. It has to be a review on Amazon. It can be a review on Amazon with a couple photographs. They want. They really like to have you have a couple photographs. The other way to do it would be to a review on Amazon and more than a one liner saying, "Oh, this is a great camera" or "This is a great product." A little more than one liner, something that explains a little more about what it is to entice people to purchase it and give your honest review. If you don't like it, put that there too. Okay? <laughs> don't lie to them. Don't lie. Tell the truth and, and what have you. And that's because that's what they want. Um, and you can put a video on if you want. 
Now the videos that I put on YouTube sometimes are not the exact same videos that I put on the Amazon site because of time, time constraints. But you put a video on there and they really like that stuff. Uh, you put them on Amazon or on uh, YouTube like I'm doing here, then uh, I will be doing with this one. And uh, it's just kind of a bonus. And it's also an opportunity for other companies to possibly see that you're reviewing products and maybe get some uh, responses from them. I have yet to get any responses from other products, but I sure hope to. Anyhow, that's what we stand, that's what we got to do, and uh, I hope that this is going to be something that would be fun for you people. Thanks for watching.